And it's not for you. Out. It's not for you. It's a penis car. <laughs> Looks like a penis. <laughs> Drives kind of like a penis. It's a, it's a penis car. Yeah. Real quick, you guys, today's episode has been brought to you by Omaze, but more on that later. Link is in the description. Back to the video. My life has been insane lately, and it is not slowing down anytime soon. I leave for Florida tomorrow to film the season finale of Sorted. If you guys haven't checked it out, I'll link it in the description below. It's with Matt Farah, Tanner Faust, Rob Freddy, and we have a good time seeking the fastest modified car in America, and also the most sorted. Sandy should be here any moment with those axles and the custom clutch pedal, but it doesn't stop there. I'm gonna be looking for a new shop. I, we're starting to expand to the point where a single car bay just isn't enough, and uh, I think it's time that your girl buys a new daily. I think you know the C8 is basically, basically officially a track car at this point. The Prius, which was my daily, I put a K series engine into. So now I think I do need to find a new daily. Also, I have some cool, exciting news for you guys. Your girl finally got rid of the dirty, busted ass white Nikes and instead got some Vans. I also want to go buy Sandy a new pair of shoes and I was gonna get him the matchy ones, but uh, when he gets here with the axles in that shifter bracket, I'm gonna surprise him with these slip-on Vans because he used to wear them all the time until I put a hole in them. Um, so that'll, that'll be a surprise later. But that wasn't the fun, exciting news I wanted to share with you. The fun, exciting news that I want to share with you is this. I wanted to do something special for you for Black Friday. This is the official Black Friday box. It was 100% inspired by, it was never supposed to be a daily driver. At a value of $75, you guys, I have discounted it 50% off. So $37.50 will get you all of this. It'll make for an excellent Christmas gift, Hanukkah present, whatever, all of the above, even just for you to enjoy at home. I heard how much you guys loved this one. Spin around for me, do a little dance. Fill your tank with quality. I heard you guys, you wanted a black version, so we did with it was never supposed to be in daily. Also what is included in the box is the sticker, the with love with the dark blue to this aqua color here and on the back, of course. Not only that, but I've included this signed poster inside of the box as well. This is one of my favorite photos that I've taken. Um, I have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of these to sign for you. The hoodie is an acid wash material. It is super soft in the inside. I heard you guys, I brought it back. It will be on the site as of Black Friday too. And I'm also bringing back another of the OG jet tags. And lastly, every single thing left on the site that we have any inventory of will be discounted at 30% off for Black Friday. A lot of time went into this, you guys. It will all be available in stores near you. Just kidding, on withlovesupply.com. All right. Now, Sandy's not here yet, and I'm gonna sign some posters. <laughs> that doesn't look like axles, but I'm glad you brought it. It's one of the, been one of those days. <laughs> look at that sexiness. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's not breaking. That's you're, bre you're breaking this. You think so? You'll break this. If it gets any tire, it's broken. Good thing it's not getting any tire. Oh, I have something for you. Uh-oh. <laughs> what do you mean? Oh. Yeah. You guys closed? All right. Oh yeah, forgot about those. What? Got you a new pair of oh, shoes. Oh, fuck. <laughs> You're more excited about the shoes than the Honda Civic. <laughs> oh yeah. I could dig that. I totally need that. It was never supposed to be a daily driver. Don't tell my wife. <laughs> I don't like laces. These are perfect. So okay. it's a little ironic that you wore the OG hoodie because we're dropping a round two of the OG hoodie in the acid wash. So that's for you. Don't, don't, there's gear oil all over the, or axle grease. Yeah, but it's already like. I want to keep it nice for 10 minutes, Quite okay? Catch. Oh, shit. <laughs> it was never supposed to be a daily driver. Yes. <laughs> Before we go any further, I would love to take a moment to thank today's sponsor, Omaze. Omaze is all about giving away amazing prizes while raising money for charity. We've done some amazing things in the past, giving away some crazy cars, but this one tops them all. We are officially partnering up to give away a gorgeous six bedroom, five bath home outside Orlando, Florida, or $1 million cash, whichever the grand prize winner prefers. This house is stunning and comes fully equipped with a chef's kitchen with modern appliances. The house also has a super sick open design outdoor patio and baller pool. I'm a sucker for a nice bathtub and this master bath has a double shower and separate bath surrounded by cool outdoor feeling rocks. 
It even comes with its own wine room. Or if you aren't into the house, which as you guys can tell, I think it'd be super dope to have a pad in Florida and not necessarily the worst thing in the world. You can also choose to accept the $1 million. The best part, as always, funds raised will go towards a great cause. Every donation will help build out and enhance a state-of-the-art epilepsy monitoring unit at Orlando Health Arnold Palmer Hospital for Children. This is nuts. A mansion outside of Orlando, Florida or $1 million. To enter for your chance to win and support a great cause, go to the link in the description below or go to home.omaze.com forward slash Amelia. I think it would be pretty sick to have a house in Florida. Or do I take million dollars? I don't know. What would you guys do? Make sure you go to the link in the description below again to enter for your chance to win. Now, let's get back to the episode. So my Uber to the airport will be here in about eh, 20 minutes. I'm gonna tuck her away into the garage for now. I did figure something out, you guys. So the transceiver that was in the back, one of the connectors that got melted after the fire, well, we didn't really know what it did. We found out what it did. If the C8 is locked, I can't unlock the C8 by just grabbing the handle here. I physically have to use the key. And then I was thinking about it. I don't believe in the door of a physical place where I can insert the key. I don't know if this cover pops off. I could look at the manual, but for sake of time and my Uber getting here, I'm not gonna look right now, but that got me thinking. If I locked my car and the key didn't work, I don't know if there's a way to get inside of it. There's gotta be, they gotta think of that, right? While I'm away, since I have security cameras, the whole nine yards inside of the garage, I'm going to be tucking Phoenix into the garage, but oh, I'm not supposed to show you guys that yet. I have a garage update coming soon. <laughs> Should I leave the burnt grill or should I just take it out completely exposing the turbos? Comment below, let me know. I will be back for you, I promise. Also, update on the G Buddy. Mimi's rotating assemblies on the way and it should be here any day now. Uh, so I'm excited to get her up and running again. I wasn't kidding you guys, there's a lot going on right now. We open up here today in Homestead, Florida. We were at the Speedway because we were filming the season finale of Sorted. We've got Rob Freddy here, we've got Matt, we've got Tanner. I can't give away too much of what's going on today, but we do have a 918 Spider here today that's going to be our base car. Take a look at this. So I'm trying to be careful of what I film in the background because I'm not allowed to give too much away just yet, but I've only seen a 918 Spider one other time in my life and it was on Gold Rush Rally and I love this car so much. Almost 900 horsepower V8. I mean, I painted the Cajun Envy, my LS swapped S14, the exact same color of the 918 Spider green. The same color you're gonna see on the calipers here. They might let me drive it today, but this is the perfect segue to let you guys know that your girl's buying a supercar. I would say another supercar, but technically we'll still call this the 8 a, a mega car. How about that? Um, let me tell you guys what I'm thinking. Rob Freddy. Yes. Everybody, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> so, uh, yes, Biff's detailing service. Just, detail <laughs> just did the second coat of wax on the 918 here. Ate some bugs on the way over here and had to make it a little presentable. So, in the absence of having the correct stuff to do it with, we just use quick detail spray for the windshield and to wipe the bugs off. Oh, there we go. It looks better. So I think first and foremost, we'll start with categories of cars. When I think supercar, I think Lamborghini. That's just me personally. Lamborghini gave me a Huracan Evo for a few days. All my friends have Huracans. I have a lot of experience with these cars. What did you just call this It's one? the escape button. <laughs> Camera does it justice. No, no camera does any of these questions. So what's it pushing? Six. Power wise? 40? Yeah, six forty, exactly that. Really? Yeah. I just guess because that's what the perfect month it is. Yeah. The best way guys I could describe this to you is the daily driver version Converse. of a Huracan oh. comparable to the Performante. It seems comfortable actually. It's actually very comfortable. Yeah. 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 Very yeah. comfortable. Very quick. It has rear steering too. Really? I was trying to make a U-turn earlier and I was like, there's no way I'm gonna do it. I want to go put it in reverse. And, and Alex was like, it. just try it first. Yeah. You it actually the did it. Thing in the world. These wheels are stupid. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Damon even let me do donuts in his Huracan for a while. You know, if I get a Lamborghini, you guys, as a lot of you guys know, my first ever car was a Lambo Green Verde Ithaca G35. So if I got a Lamborghini, I think it's only right that I got it in Verde Ithaca or even Verde Mantis. I'll, I'll take either or. So if we're talking Lamborghini, we're either talking the 582 Huracan, because I won't rear wheel drive as much as I go to the mountains and would love to put a ski box on it. I would want the 582 or Gallardo. I'd be looking at the 552. And the cool thing about the Gallardo. Uh, 
is I can get it gated. So this was actually the color of my first car, my Infiniti G35, and I absolutely love this. This is the Verde Ithaca, the Lamborghini green that came on the Gallardos. You look really good in that thing. I look great in a Lamborghini. Do you finance Amelia your Lamborghini? Zero percent interest, zero percent payments. Hey, hey, hey! I don't lease cars here. I only buy them. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, shit. it's getting lit. So this is the pre-LP Gallardo, the five-liter V10. They say it sounds better than the 5.2. Who is they? We'll never know. Oh my god. Amelia, I found the perfect car for you. Now Amelia likes to kick the back end out. She likes to get swirly. She is a very, very talented driver. She builds drift cars. I've never watched any of her videos before. From what I hear, Pretty good. But what she needs is a supercar. Now, the perfect supercar, in my opinion, would for you be a Huracan 580. Oh, perfect, we have one right here for you. <laughs> we have a 2016 LP 580-2. This is the dream car. This Almost 600 car? horsepower. The rear wheel drive, I could still get Cindy, maybe install a handbrake in it. Supercharger? There we go. Maybe I'll even twin turbo. Yo, what up, cheapy? <laughs> well, also a perfect Monte behind you. For a beginner Lamborghini, the 582 is definitely the direction I would go. I love the Performantes, don't get me wrong, but we gotta start somewhere. Here's the best part. For a supercar, it's affordable. So here at West Coast, 179. But, 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 the Performante is probably at 100 to that. That was also 488, 720, 4 GT, 4 GT. Oh, Amelia needs a Huracan. Yes, she does, I think so. Yeah. So, oh. <laughs> so here's the thing, you guys. I told you, I need a reliable daily. Yeah, and I can't stop modding my cars. And who knows, maybe this next car I'll end up modifying too. But that leads me to the next car that I want to talk about is the Audi R8. <laughs> I would love to do a V10 R8. I drove Dave's V8 R8 for a while, and uh, she does do some good donuts, I'll tell you that. Kill all tires. The thing is about the Audi R8 platform is that it is just so amazing for modding. I'd probably twin turbo it and the next thing I know we'd be well over a thousand horsepower and then I'd be looking for another daily again. And you know, I've driven sheepy races, twin turbo V10 R8 when I was filming something for Sorted on the West Coast and that was a lot of fun, boys. That was a lot of fun. But uh, at the end of the day, if I'm being truthful, not to be a dick, but I question if I were driving an R8, if I'd still long for something more, something like a Huracan. The R8 is basically a Huracan where you're not necessarily compromising power and speed and you get a reduction of price, but is that a supercar? So the next three cars I'm looking at are Ferraris. I'm either looking at the 360, the 430, or the 458. Now, I almost bought a 360 a while back when I was over at Fusion Motorsports. But the 360 is a great first supercar, I would say. So? I kind of like this one. You kind of like this I one? I kind of like this one. Better than an Aventador? I personally like this a little bit better. I like this car a lot. It's also within my budget compared to the Aventador. <laughs> I like this a lot. And I love the fact that it was a six-speed gated transmission. I do love driving a manual. The 430 I have not driven. Slightly larger displacement. Still can get a gated six-speed. But then we're talking about the 458. I, I do like myself a DCT. The 458 is even larger displacement out of all of them. Still naturally aspirated. I drove a 488 and don't get me wrong, I absolutely loved it. Now, if I'm being honest with you, I don't think I'll end up getting a 360. It's still in the ringer. It's still in the ringer though. I think I'll probably end up getting a 430. I like more of the classic look to it. It was the predecessor to the 458, but the 458 is also more modern, you guys. Think about Daily Driver and uh, it could be a very good candidate. Oh, McLaren. I love you guys. I know you guys personally. You make some badass awesome cars. But one thing I've always been told is don't buy a McLaren out of warranty. If I were to get a McLaren though, I'm looking at an MP4 
love to see. It's something that I've always had my eyes on. I think they sound incredible. Ironically, humble Dave drives one. <laughs> I think I'd be looking at that or a 650. It depends how many miles are on it and the deal I can get. I also have a lot of friends who drive McLarens. I mean, the DE guys even bought a Pew one. You know, I got Alex Troy with the 720. Cut to Alex doing stupid shit with it. <laughs> You know, I've actually been to the McLaren factory in the UK and I wasn't allowed to film anything there because it was all behind the scenes. I do have some footage from my trip where I actually got to race a 650LT on the famous Silverstone F1 track. We had the conversation, am I a Lamborghini girl or am I a Ferrari girl? I think I'm a McLaren girl. <laughs> God, I love these doors. back from driving around and I wish you guys could be here to actually see it. You're here in spirit, but each time I was getting the line down, I was going quicker and quicker and I wanted to be going faster, but this is just supposed to be like the gentle first lap. <laughs> that was something that I'll, I'll never forget. McLarens, I feel, are definitely one of the ultimate track cars and it's gonna be very difficult for me to own that car and not take it to the track. <laughs> so when you talk about supercars, those are the cars that I personally think of. Now I'm gonna throw a couple others in there for the mix, such as the Mercedes AMG GTR. I had the awesome opportunity opportunity of getting to race one of those around Laguna Seca when I was doing an article with Glamour Magazine and Mercedes and that car handles incredibly. I loved driving it. It is also a little bit, I feel, of a sleeper. Ugh, I'm also going to get other people's opinions while I'm here at the racetrack about a supercar. And let me just, before I get any further, say you guys, I am incredibly humbled and blessed to be able to make videos for you guys where my living is buying crazy cars and getting the opportunity to build them. So it's weird to say that buying a supercar in a way is an investment for me and my business, but uh, I owe a lot to you guys for watching the episodes. So thank you for that. Now, with that in mind, I have to throw something JDM in the ringer, like an R35 GTR. I would love to get an R34, but they are not legal and I don't want to deal with the headache of trying to import it and deal with all that. Possibly an R32, but again, we're talking about reliable daily and I already know if I got an OG Sky and I'd want to go right hand drive. So this is why we're talking about the GTR. You can mod them. Oh, why, why do I keep talking about modding cars? No, no. Okay, I probably will, but still, besides the point, an R35 GTR is another one on the list. Yeah, she said, she said, she doesn't normally giggle unless a car makes her excited. And, she <laughs> and I'm also going to throw something American into the mix. Let's talk about an ACR Viper. Andre has one, 300 shot, 900 horsepower, no problem. I just can't help myself. <laughs> Straights, but on the corners, oh. I'm riding your. I want that, I want that footage that from Dapplebee's. What? I want that Dapplebee's footage. You won't get it. Let's be honest, I'm going to mod the car, but I want it to be reliable daily, so we'll just keep that in the back of our minds as we go through this list together. The ACR Viper is nuts. Matt Ferrer said it best, Vipers are for crazy people, and you guys already know I'm a little bit crazy when it comes to cars. You know, I drove an 1800 horsepower twin 76 sequential transmission ACR Viper on the Sword of Chill on the East Coast. That thing is nuts. <laughs> oh my god. I was going way too fast there. I would love to say I would daily this because I would, but realistically, the streetability factor of this is slim to none. So, uh, in terms of supercars, that's kind of what I'm looking for. But I have one more. The final car that I would be looking at for a supercar, I would say any 911 Porsche, but we are talking about a daily driver here, so I don't know how you guys feel about this one, but I am humoring a Porsche Taycan. They're stupid fast, they're all electric, would make for a good daily. I don't know, I, I need to really drive one first. But those are the 10, that could actually be 11 supercars that I am looking at buying, and this isn't a clickbait video. When I say I'm buying a supercar, I'm buying a supercar. When I said I was buying a supercar in the past, I bought a C8. Okay, maybe that was clickbait, I'm just kidding. I still consider that a supercar. Give me one reason why it's not. Give me three, actually. <laughs> 
you know, I wanna get some of the guys' opinions and see what, what they would buy. So this is Nathan Fisio's 911, 900 horsepower. It won the East Coast Regionals of Sorted. This thing is a beast. Sisio is also the one who had the fastest quarter mile time with the C Corvette for the longest time until turbo started getting slapped on other people to beat the record sits. But maybe I get a 911? What do you guys think? I don't know, this car like drives so well on the track. It seems like such a good daily. It is modded though. <laughs> All right, listen to this. Oh, yes. So you guys all know the Matt Farah from Smoking Tire. V! Sorry, I'll put my phone away. No, you're good. Hi. Um, I feel like out of anyone, you're probably the most experienced when it comes to this topic. I am buying my first supercar. Oh. If you don't consider the C8 a supercar already. I don't. Okay. So but it's okay. Some of these you may not. Right here. Oh, you have a list? Here, I have a help list you? of what I am contemplating. I like your notebook. I like Thank your notebook. You. Oh, wow, you've really. Wow, you have great handwriting. Thank you. I just want to look through your notebook. <laughs> By all means. So, a calendar on one side. I'm a big notebook fan. Yeah, me too. Moleskin brand. But I got I to get you the West Side Collector Car Storage embossed Moleskin. Ooh, I don't okay. Like your list of supercars Lamborghini Huracan uh, in, in green. Oh, the rear wheel drive? Yeah. 580 2. Uh, Lamborghini Gallardo, number Gated, two. Gated, 552. Okay, well it says green, it just doesn't say, <laughs> doesn't say that. And then our Audi R8. Yeah, probably the V10. So, you, so you, your top three are... It's not in order. It's oh, it's not. Oh, these are just, you're, okay. R8, uh, Ferrari 430, Ferrari 360, Ferrari 458, McLaren 12C, okay, McLaren 570. If you want. This is a list of all the supercars. There's not, this is not narrowed down. This is no, just a no, list of supercars. The supercars I can afford. She's trying this to figure what out want. what she want, what, what to buy. I already know what you're gonna pick. What I'm gonna pick? Ready? Yeah. Hold on. Uh, Hold on. Oh wait, no, I okay, know what I he's gonna it. pick. Mm -hmm. It's the gated R8. Really? Yeah, because last manual supercar. It's a good choice. It is a good choice. I think that's gonna stay. But it's a good choice. Should I just get the Lamborghini if I'm gonna do that? Well, the the real difference between Gallardo and R8 happens when you're over six feet tall. For someone of your size, this is not an important decision. Not an issue. It's not. Honestly, like someone your size, there's nothing wrong with a Gallardo. Whereas if you're my size, like, nah. But would happening. you get a Gallardo over a Huracan? No. You'd get the a Huracan. Huracan's a better car. Yeah. yeah. Keep in mind, this is a daily driver. If you wanted to drive stick, I'd get a stick R8. Yeah. Yeah. But stick I feel R8. like I can't get an R8 without modding the piss out of it. You don't have to mod the piss out of it. You get the VF blower, you call it a day. That's true. You don't need, the R8 is already you're, lovely. You're missing all the McLarens and AMG the... GTR, it's a lovely car, it's not for you. Porsche 997, you don't want that. I mean, it's a lovely car, it's not for you. Taycan is a, not a supercar, it's a, and, and <laughs> I mean, it's not, it's a very fast It's not, EV. I slapped it on the list. ACR, after driving that, do you want that? That's what you, that's the experience. I don't know if I want 1800 horsepower and it might be too large for me to daily. They're clunky. Can we just say something They're clunky about every day. I know, isn't it good? You said the same thing. Yeah. Is She's very like much this? a girl. Wow. I mean, the handwriting is really, <laughs> it's a very girl handwriting. So my opinion, yeah. in terms of the best, best bang for your buck, best bang for your buck is gonna be a R8 V10 spider with a stick. Okay. That's your best bang for your buck. That's like a hundred, 120K, 120K yeah. all day. Reliable drive manual. Notice that Matt completely glossed over the GTR. <laughs> you don't want that. <laughs> There's nothing about that that's good. Unless you're talking about a Skyline. No. Yeah, no, R35. you want that. No, 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 you want that. Uh, 570 S, you don't want that. 12 C, you definitely don't want that. What about a 430? Problem with the 430 is there's a $75,000 premium to get a stick. Mm. It's a is big that, premium. Really? Four, 05 430 F1s are like 90 Gs. They're like, pff, fucking yeah. take out a loan and just go for it. The sticks are like almost 200. Wow. It's a big, it's a big, and you can't convert it as easier as easy as you can convert the 360s. 458s are very good. Yeah. And they're almost indistinguishable except at full throttle from the new cars. I drove the $450,000 F8 Tributo. That was the best argument for spending 160 on a 458 that I could ever have. It was, okay. it was like, oh, the 458's four, four, the four where it's at. So it sounds like between a 458, a Huracan, four, five, eight, and an R8, you would choose the R8? It's the best bang for your buck. It's the best value. You're gonna drive this. If you're gonna drive yeah, it a lot, then yeah. Like a couple days a no, week. No, i put it's, miles on this. Yeah, the R8's gonna be so much more livable than I would than say, all that. yeah. R8 would stick, would yeah. followed by 458, followed by Huracan. He just flat out said, auto. not for me. And it's not for you. Out. It's not for you, it's a penis car. <sighs> <laughs> Looks like a penis. Drives kind of like a penis. That's it's a, it's a like penis, penis car. Yeah. Bro, but my balls are pretty big. Although I know, I know, I know a pretty <laughs> successful uh, 
uh, reasonably attractive and, and cool woman who, who does drive a paint to sample AMG GTR. It's a lovely car. But they're depreciating. I'd go R8 stick. 2012, 2013, V10. R8 stick, V10. It's funny because you'll find the V8s all day long. Mm -hmm. But can you do something to the V8s and make them twin as supercharge? Supercharge or, or twin, twin turbo turbies. if you really wanted to. But because I, I mean, V8s are everywhere. They're, and they're half the price. They are cheap. Yeah. They're like 80, 75, 80 grand yeah. instead of 120, 130. I think the 10 is worth it. I'm surprised you would go R8 to then 458 to then Huracan when the R8 is basically a Huracan. Right, that's true. You want a daily driver and I think that would provide the, I think I made lists of things that I think would be the most satisfying for you every day. Those are the most fun, usable, headache free, depreciation stun, that kind of yeah. thing. I'd get tired of climbing in a Huracan. I would too, but she's thing. little. You can I'm get your finger. My mass, you can get your finger through the extreme height. It's just the uh, you just get used to that. Yeah. No. Well, just well, the, flipping the thing. The up fighter just plane to theater. Just the whole, just the whole uh, drama of it all. That's yeah. what does it I mean, for you. I mean, I love it at first. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But then it would get old. Kind of like my dating history, really. It's like <laughs> attracted to the drama, but at some point you just want to yeah. go with the flow. I feel you. You know, you start with the Lamborghini, and then you end up with the Honda Civic. <laughs> yeah, and love the Honda Civic. Yo, Civic SIs are where it's at. Like, I'll take it. Give me a Type R. Let's do that. Yeah. All right, guys, comment like below. Let me know what you think. Old school, 1980s supercars only. That's what you want to do. You want to you want to really drive a Lamborghini? Countach is what it's at. Okay, that's like a dream car, though. One day. One, One day. day. You can't reach a pedal too much. <laughs> I bet I couldn't. I just got back to the hotel. That is a wrap to uh, a pretty amazing season finale, if you ask me. But comment below. Let me know which supercar you think I should get for my first supercar. Thank you guys so much for watching. Appreciate all of you. Don't forget, Black Friday Drop is officially live. And before you guys go, I just wanted to say a huge thank you to Amaze for sponsoring today's episode. Link is in the description below, and I'll see you guys on the next one. e -crew, we out here with love. Bye! <laughs>